Say you're in a situation where you only have a black statue and you've been doing some dirty deeds with it. You don't have the money to buy a white one or you don't want to paint the black one or you, you know, for whatever reason, you, you just don't or can't change it or get a new one. Um, I would say under normal circumstances, cover it with a cloth, sorry, <laughs> cat hair, cover it with, with the cloth color that you need. Now, this is normally how a lot of people do it. They'll cover it with the cloth color that they need, especially if it's a statue color, like brown or pink, that's not too common. And they'll do whatever workings that, that they have to do. And then when they're done, they remove the cloth. Or whenever they're ready to remove the cloth color, they do. Like say here, purple. Purple is another one that's not all too popular. Get a handkerchief. Or just, you know, an old, well, preferably not an old pillowcase, but I'm using, I'm using, um, like, Hobby Lobby material here. But, you know, do it respectfully, obviously. But get a cloth and, and cover her for whatever color you need the robe to be. The only, like I said, like I'm going to say, I thought about this and I was like, maybe they shouldn't do this, but it, people are going to do what they're going to do regardless, whether I, I can yell till I'm blue in the face, whatever. This is just my opinion. But I personally, especially if you've had the statue for a long time, I personally wouldn't uh, try to go from dark to light. Like what I mean by that is, say you have an all black statue. Say this red and black one right here, I've been using purely for reversal work. I've been knocking people down with this thing left and right. This statue and me have a vibe going that's dark, it's angry, and it's vindictive. So we already have a negative energy about us that I've already instilled in this statue. Am I going to go and try to do healing work by covering it in white? I wouldn't. I don't know. But... Maybe some would say, well, just clean it, you know, and go from there. Maybe. I don't know. I have, I have questions about that. And I'm pretty sure there will be people that will, you know, have their opinions on that. But under normal circumstances, all you have to do is go online and see people have adorned the statues that they have had with everything under the sun. Custom made dresses, uh, custom jewelry, custom everything. So if you're in a bind, if you're in a pinch, especially with those colors that are hard to find, like brown, sometimes even blue, purple, get a cloth or a handkerchief. And there you go. Done. For the most part. Of course, do your, your cleansings and do your, your prep work, you know, cover all your bases. But yeah, genius, right? And, and that's pretty much that. It doesn't have to be difficult. And there doesn't have to be this deep meaning, you know? It, it can just be, it is what it is. You associate purple with the spiritual. You want to go on a spiritual journey? Here you go. Here's the, the color purple for you. The colors, I've said this for several years already, like, right, I'm no, I'm no master at this, but I've been at it long enough to know that the colors are not for her, they're for you. You know, I've said it many videos back. Um, those are for you to focus. All of those color correspondences, they're so that you can have a, a like an end point, like a goal, so that you can remember what it is that you're trying to do. That's always what color correspondence has been. But yeah, here, just go get like different material colors and you don't need more statues. And look, I'm a vendor of statues. I know that I'm, that this is going to bite me in the butt because this is going to be people saving their coins and not spending them in my shop. But, you know, I have to tell you guys the truth. I don't want you, want you all to feel like you have to have it already colored that color. You know, if you have that mindset, pues, you know, that's... That's, that's going to make you spend more money in the long run, you know? 
but no, you can paint them yourself. Um, and it's actually a really good uh, bonding experience between you and her when you're spending time with your your idols and with your representations of her and modifying them to yours and her liking, you know? Uh, put it in your own hands. Don't always put it in the hands of other people. And don't stress so much about, you know, oh, I gotta buy a new statue. No, you don't. That was my son, don't freak out. No, you don't. It's the statue is right there in front of you, even if it's one of the little guys. You know, it's it's different if it's like a pendant or something like that, and that's all you have to work with. Well, then don't don't even worry about colors at that point. But if it's like a little guy, you know, then yeah, you can you can paint it or you can make like a little cloth thing. I mean, the sky's the limit. Use your imagination. So that's what I had to tell you guys for now about the robe colors. Uh, do makeshift robe color robe colors. You know, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching.